Hey guys, in this Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create iZoom transition effect in Premiere Pro. Let's get started. First, import a close-up eye shot to the timeline. You can use my clip for practice. I'll add the link under the description. First, we need to create a mask from the eye opening part. So move the time indicator where the eye is opening. Then go to Effect Controls tab. Inside Opacity, select the Pen tool. Now draw a mask around the eyeball. Then invert this mask. Now add a keyframe on Mask Path. Then move one frame forward or you can click on the right arrow key in your keyboard. Select the mask and adjust the mask path to shape of the eye. Again, move one frame forward and adjust the mask path. Continue the same process to the last frame of your clip. Here, I just speed up this part so you don't have to wait. Okay, we are done. Now move the time indicator where the masking was started and make a cut here. Now delete the mask for the first clip. As you can see, the masking is perfectly done with eye opening movement. Now move the second clip one track above. Then move to the project window. Here I'm going to use a fire loop footage for the background, but you can use any kind of footage you like. So add this footage onto the second clip. As you can see, the masking is not smooth yet. We need to adjust the masking a little bit. So select this clip and move to the effect controls tab. Inside this mask, increase the mask feather to 150% and decrease the mask expansion to minus 150%. Let's check the preview. As you can see, it looks better, but the fire loop footage is moving so fast. So I'm going to slow down this footage a little bit. Let's adjust the scale and position so we can watch it properly under the eye shape. I'm going to decrease the scale level, then adjust the positions for fire loop. Now fire loop footage is looking perfect on the eye. Now we are going to create the smooth zoom transition. So move the time indicator where you want to make the transition. In my case, I want to make the transition here. Then make a cut here, delete the right part of the clip. Now move the time indicator one second backward where the transition will be started. Then select the clip under the effect controls tab, add a keyframe on scale. Then move a few frames forward and increase the scale level around 600. To make this animation more smooth, select the first keyframe and right click on your mouse. Then click on ease out. Now expand the scale and make this curved line just like as I do. Let's see a quick preview. Now we're going to add the glow and RGB split effect. To make this animation more smooth, go to the project tab and create an adjustment layer. Add this adjustment layer above on your clips, then cut here and delete the unwanted part. Now move to the effects tab and search for Gaussian blur. Add this effect on the adjustment layer. Then go to effect controls tab and move the indicator to the first frame. Then add keyframes on the opacity and Gaussian blurriness. Decrease the opacity to 0%. Now move few frame forward. Again, add keyframes on the opacity and blurriness. Move these keyframes to the end. Now move the indicator to the middle point and set the opacity to 100% and make the blurriness to 100. Now it looks good. And our last step is RGB split effect. So again, go to effects tab and search for VR chromatic aberrations. Add this effect to the adjustment layer, then go to Effect Controls tab. Inside VR chromatic aberrations, disable the auto VR properties. Select the frame layout to stereoscopic over under. Set the fall of distance value to 100. Then randomly change the red, green, and blue aberrations value. Let's see the final preview. If you want to download project files or any of the assets used to creating this video, you can find the link in the description below. Scan this QR code to connect with Novella Film Academy. Learn video editing, graphic design, or get professional editing services. And that's it. Let us know what you'd like to see next. Drop your suggestions in the comments below. Subscribe to Novella Film Academy for more such videos.